the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how the ICRI can be used to monitor an HF radio that does not have ALE. Inside of this ICRI connected to radio port number 5 is a circuit that we call the HF voice and noise discriminator. This circuit will detect the syllabic rate of human speech in noise and only open allowing audio to pass to the ICRI when it detects this speech. This means that this radio port can be continually receiving noise from an HF radio but only when there's actually a voice in that noise will it pass the audio to the ICRI to be retransmitted by the other radios. In order to demonstrate this I'm going to play a clip of audio from an HF radio that contains noise and also contains speech and show how the ICRI can discriminate between the two of them only passing audio when there's speech. I have connected to this unit which is powered by batteries an XTS radio and the box on the right is connected to a normal standard ICRI port so we're going to hear from the XTS radio in this case is all of the audio including the noise um, this is kind of our control, and then I'm going to show you how the HF circuit improves upon um, the audio that's being received. So that, that box is connected to the ICRI, which is a standard radio port, and then it's connected to a computer which has the audio clip sample from the radio. So I'm going to play this, and you're going to hear all the noise um, coming out of the XTS radio. So as you can see, regardless of whether or not there's voice in that noise, the ICRI is always going to pass that audio when being connected to a standard radio port. Next I'm going to connect it to an HF port and repeat the test and show you how it's only open it only passes audio when there is voice in the noise. There is an initial period where the gate has to start, the HF circuit has to start responding. As you can see, even though that clip is full of noise, the ICRI is only receiving audio when there is voice available, which you're hearing on that XTS radio. In addition to functioning as a voice and noise discriminator, that radio port will also function as a standard radio port, so its operation is not affected by the addition of the circuit.